Hey there guys, how are you? Welcome to Slate Films, First Man. So First Man was directed by Damien Chazelle, the man behind uh, movies such as 10 Cloverfield Lane, uh, La La Land, which just so happens to be one of my favourite musicals. At the moment, uh, we'll get into that a little later. And of course, one of my all-time favourite movies, Whiplash. Were you rushing or were you dragging? So First Man stars Ryan Gosling as Neil Armstrong and basically takes us on a journey where we learn all about the behind the scenes stuff that happens over the course of a decade towards the first ever moon landing. This film also extensively dives into the sacrifices that takes a toll on Neil Armstrong, his family as well as the United States in the race to be first. This is a very character driven movie and once again Ryan Gosling continues to impress me as an actor. He gives a really good performance as well as Claire Foy who I actually didn't know was in this film because I've been avoiding every single review and trailers on purpose just so I could get you know the full experience. So it's a pretty long movie at around 2 hours and 20 minutes and I was engaged and on board from start to finish and towards the end I actually wanted more because that's how invested I was in the movie. So don't worry I'm not gonna dive into any story elements because prior to this film all I knew about the moon landing was yeah the moon landing I didn't really know anything about Neil Armstrong's story and I'll just let you guys experience that for yourself. So Damien Chazelle continues to impress me. I thought everything about First Man was excellent and the writing was pretty good because it was written by Josh Singer, uh, an Academy Award winner and yeah, it was just top notch. Now this is one of those movies that's gonna make you laugh, it's gonna make you cry and it essentially takes you on an experience where you're just gonna be sat there and be in absolute awe because I think in a couple of scenes, I got goosebumps all over my body, right? Because it felt real and pair that with an amazing score yes please so it's basically like you're almost there and you're immersed in this amazing experience and it kind of had that interstellar sort of vibe and what i mean by that is there is minimum cgi right most of them are practical effects and it was done excellently right i mean i'm sure there was cg but i really didn't notice it it was seamless and that's the best kind of cg and it's also similar to Interstellar in a way that uh, some of the shots of the spacecraft were just um, towards the side of the ship and that really reminded me of Christopher Nolan's directing in Interstellar. I honestly didn't have any issues with this movie. I mean, I enjoyed the interactions between the characters, the dialogue, it was emotionally resonating and the direction felt realistic and it riveted me from start to finish. So my only mixed feeling about this movie is that uh, the camera work is mostly close-ups and handhelds and it kind of gave that shaky cam sort of vibe and it did bother me in a couple of scenes so this is just a heads up because it's, uh, this camera work is done throughout the entire movie and it might, it might bother some of you but to me personally I thought it was fine and I thought Ryan Gosling with his performance, I mean don't get me wrong, he gave a great performance but he sort of gave that, you know, that typical Ryan Gosling performance and I don't know if uh, this kind of captures the real uh, character of Neil Armstrong but yeah, I mean those are sort of my mixed feelings about this film but I mean all in all, I think this is an excellent film and I'm gonna give First Man an A. I mean this film definitely deserves a high grade, uh, it really had no issues in my opinion. The depth of the characters and the excellent performances from the actors just took this already great story up to another level and I really enjoyed myself. So I definitely recommend you check this movie out and what I particularly loved about First Man is that um, it makes you understand and realise you know, the sacrifices, the hard work and basically the toll it takes on the human you know, to achieve something as great as this. One small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. So I'm probably going to be watching this movie again this weekend and what I suggest is that you guys check it out in IMAX for the best experience. I promise you it's worth every penny. So um, tomorrow I'm going to be watching A Star Is Born. So if you guys want to check out that review, make sure you stay subscribed so you don't miss it. And I'm pretty excited for that one because most people are saying that it's better than La La Land. So yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to that and we'll see if it really is better than La La Land. So until next time guys, ciao. No, what are you waiting for? Do it! Just do it! Yes, you can! Just...
do it! Do it! Just 